not a wizard, Hagrid. I'm just Harry. Harry the wizard, for fuck's sake. Good morning, people of YouTube. To answer your two questions, yes, I still haven't got my hair cut. And yes, that is two Harry Potter books taped to the wall in a terrible attempt to make a background. And welcome to a brand new series that I like to call Naughty Story Time. The idea of this series is to take one of the most popular books or films of all time and to change one word in that story and make it very, very rude. And as you can probably tell by the background and the title, today we are going to be doing Harry Potter. If, just like me, Harry Potter was a huge part of your life, I would advise you to turn this video off, because it is going to ruin your childhood, and it will scar you for life. This time round, we are going to be taking the word wand, and we are going to be switching it for the word penis. So, if you are all prepared, wands at the ready, let's go. It's time for... Naughty Story Time! With... Lazy Karen! Panting. Harry fell over towards the hydrangea bush, straightened up, and stared around. There were several faces peering through various nearby windows. Harry stuffed his penis hastily back into his jeans and tried to look innocent. Your penis, Lucius. I require your penis. Voldemort drew out his own penis and compared the lengths. Harry rubbed his penis feverishly until white sparks shot out the end, which earned him a disapproving look from Fleur. Yeah, I'm not blooming surprised. Both Sirius and Snape lowered their penises. The unexpected entrance of so many witnesses seemed to have brought them to their senses. But what's going on? said Mr. Weasley. Nothing, Arthur, said Sirius, who was breathing heavily as though he had just run a long distance. This is really deep stuff. It turns out, that all of those years of serious bullying Snape over and over again was just a desperate cry for attention. The true romance of Harry Potter is not Ron and Hermione. It's Sirius and Snape. Expecto Patronum, Harry yelled. Nothing happened. Harry gripped his penis tighter and shook it up and down until a thick, wispy white substance protruded from the end of it. <laughs> Harry's penis was vibrating, as though an electrical charge was surging through it. You talk about penises like they've got feelings, said Harry. Like they can think for themselves. Whoa, 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 Harry. I don't know about you, but I've done plenty of things just because my penis thought it was a good idea. It's no wonder I can't get it out of my You've packed my old jeans. They're tight. Oh, I'm so sorry, hissed Hermione, and Harry heard her mutter a suggestion as to where Ron could stick his penis instead. Now, I don't know what you think, but that's from the seventh book where Ron and Hermione got it on. I get the feeling that there's a chapter that hasn't been released. Your father, on the other hand, favoured a mahogany penis. Eleven inches! <laughs> Christ, Harry's dad was packing. Harry looked down at his own penis. He could see finger marks all over it. J.K. Rowling definitely wrote these books so that people could do this to them. Snape gave Harry a swift, piercing look. Harry looked down at the floor. He wished Ron would put his penis down. <laughs> oh, move over, Hermione snarled. She grabbed Harry's penis and tapped the lock and whispered, Hello, Hamora. Do you think I want people saying my sisters are... A what? shouted Ginny, drawing her penis. A what exactly? A transsexual by the looks of it. That is the end of our list for replacing the word wand, but just for one funny scene, I'm going to take the word name from the Goblet of Fire and replace it with the word penis. Harry, did you put your penis in the Goblet of Fire? We're done. We're done. So that is it for this edition of Naughty Storytime, guys. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like down below. If you do, I'll, um, I'll, I'll give you a dollar. There you go. Click the like button. There's the dollar. Just click it. If you want me to continue this series, go down below and leave a little comment telling me what books or films you want me to do next. That's all from me from now, and I'll see you guys soon. Think fast! Hello, Amora! Ah. Nothing like a ketchup biscuit to start the day. Come